everybody, listen, without the right affiliates, I'm going to tell you right now, you can have the greatest offer, the best product, the like the most amazing killer sales funnel, and your affiliate launch, your launch without the right affiliates will still be a flop. So the question, of course, is how do you recruit great affiliates? Well, over the past few weeks, I've shared a ton about how to find awesome affiliates and how to find affiliates, the ultimate guide series. And to wrap it up today, this is the end. We should have confetti and some other stuff and some noisemakers. We don't because we're lame. We don't have those things. But today, to wrap it up, I'm going to show you how to actually get the affiliates that you find to say yes to promoting you. Because finding the most amazing affiliates in the world is completely useless if they don't actually promote you. So we're going to talk about how to get them to say yes today. Today, I'm going to reveal my number one affiliate recruiting email. I'm going to share why it works, how to use it, the common mistakes that people make in recruiting affiliates, and how to get all of my top affiliate recruiting templates today. So welcome everyone to this live lesson. Now I'm joined today as almost always, and now he just left. I think he got kicked out by our system. <laughs> I'm back again. I'm I'm <laughs> that was good today. timing. <laughs> yeah, because I said I'm joined today as almost always by my co-host, Mark Sievercrop. He's over here on this, on this screen over here. Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> What's up? So Mark, I'm stoked about today because I get to share a proven template that works. So this email, no joke, has brought in tens of thousands, if not maybe hundreds of thousands at this point of affiliates for our clients, for our business. And honestly, it's not every day that I get to share something that's this effective and this proven to work. So I'm excited about this. Now, this email came from uh, I mean, it came from testing different language, different approaches, different structures, different, I mean, just everything, like testing all kinds of different stuff with different recruiting emails. And this is the email that performed the best. It got the most responses. Uh, it led to the most yeses. It got the most affiliates and it generated the most revenue, which is like the ultimate measure of an affiliate recruiting good thing. email, right? Like it generated the most revenue. So before we get started, make sure to drop a comment and let me know you're on and where you're joining us from. Also, if you, and hey, Michael, uh, hey, Paul, um, before we get started, like I said, make sure to drop that comment and let me know you're on where you're joining us from. Also, if you have any questions today, I can, I can see them over here, but Mark will also ask them. Make sure you ask in the comments. We're going to be answering those as we go along. And lastly, if you know anyone that could benefit from growing their business. So like every single entrepreneur on earth, <laughs> be sure to share this with them, uh, share it to your page, share it to your timeline, send it to them directly. I promise you they will thank you because this, like literally just this single email today has made all the difference in our business. Before we get into that, this is, like I said, this is the last part, part number like 82, I think, Mark, roughly, of yeah, our how to find it. a <laughs> Maybe 84. We might be on 84 now. I'm not sure. Something. Um, this is our part of our How to Find Affiliates, the ultimate guide. And you can check that out at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find affiliates. Uh, Mark will drop that link in the chat. Now, in the ultimate guide, I, I share uh, three reasons why you need your own affiliates. I share more than half a dozen ways to find affiliates. How to hear yes from more affiliates. Seven reasons, this is one of my favorite lessons, seven reasons why you should work with small affiliates. That's something a lot of people don't believe. And the first week we shared a live lesson on the mindset of recruiting affiliates. I shared the ask formula for getting you know, over the fear of asking how to get results. Let's see, uh, how to recruit affiliates that you don't even know, how to use paid traffic to find affiliates. Uh, and then last week I did a live lesson. I walked you through step-by-step uh, like a step-by-step walkthrough of how we find affiliates we don't even know, uh, how to find, work with competitors as affiliates is on there. The uh, the absolute number one way to get the best affiliates, and here's the thing, almost no one uses this one. It's really cool. There's so much in this ultimate guide. There's, uh, there's bonus posts, podcast episodes, bonus lessons, uh, tons of other videos I didn't even mention. It's truly 
it's why we call it the ultimate guide. And I believe, Mark, that it is uh, it is the ultimate guide to finding affiliates. I, I, I can't think of anything that, I mean, we haven't done anything even near this, Matt. I mean, you've, you've put some of this stuff out individually, but yeah, I mean, this thing is awesome and it took a lot to put together. <laughs> <laughs> so go check it out. Don't let our work be in vain. <laughs> yeah, no, we've seen, I mean, we're looking at like, you know, we study our analytics uh, every day uh, almost. And uh, we see, I mean, the, the, the page has like, you know, close to 10,000 views now over the past few weeks. I mean, it is just, it's like picked up steam. We know I see people sharing it on, you know, different social media platforms. It's really cool. Like we encourage you to do that. Of course, please share our content. Do you remember, do you remember the email you got? What was it like a week or two ago? That person that was like, you know, I have two or three different programs and like these videos are just making a huge difference. I can't remember exactly what they said, but Oh, if I can find uh, it real quick. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I think we shared it in our Slack channel. Was. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, we have a Ooh, test. Got it. Uh, Claudia channel. Who was it? Claudia. Claudia. Yeah. Uh, said I have many projects in hand and currently really needing affiliates to keep going on it. And your videos make this process as smooth as possible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, once again, I say thank you for your very valuable videos. Awesome. Love that Claudia. So I mean, it's cool, the ultimate guide, you know, that's why we did it. So <laughs> again, you can find that at matt forward slash find affiliates. So if you're just joining us, we're talking about my number one affiliate recruiting email. We're going to talk about how and why it works. And later, I'm going to show you how you can get a copy paste email template that's just like Ooh. super easy to use. So here's what to do. First, we're going to talk about what to do before you use this email. There is a little bit of groundwork you have to do, some things you have to do before. Like, like, of course, the number one question is, well, who the heck do I send this email to? So we're going to talk about that and kind of the process we go through before that. Uh, again, this is a simple email. It's been tested against dozens of other emails, uh, does, did all kinds of different iterations. I've tweaked single words and you know what, what gets opened and what gets clicked on or what gets responded to, what actually ultimately produces the most revenue. It has been tweaked and honed into an affiliate recruiting machine. But what you do before is equally important. So step one, the first step in this, there's four steps today. Step one is to look up affiliates who promoted similar products to yours. Now, I shared this in depth last week. I did a Facebook Live. So if you missed that, go back and watch it. Matt can, or Mark, I, I'm not going to drop the link. Mark Matt could, drop, but he's not going to. Yeah. And I now apparently refer to myself in the third person. You know, <laughs> uh, it reminds me of that Seinfeld episode. I don't know if you remember that. I don't know if you watched Seinfeld, Mark, but there's this guy. Know. And he, he, he always referred to himself in the third person. And so he would like, and he called like his own games of basketball. He was like an announcer. And so he's like playing basketball at the Y and he goes, Jimmy, wait, Jimmy drives the lane. Jimmy pulls up, Jimmy shoots, Jimmy scores. <laughs> That's like the premise of the episode is hysterical. That's so awesome. Mark's going to drop the link in the comments. Uh, if you want to you know, learn how to do step one here in step two, and we're talking about day in depth, Watch the Facebook Live that we did, uh, that I did solo last Friday. Oh, but wow. It pops, general, up, it pops up the preview. I'm going to remove that. Oh, okay. So the general premise, Mark will page. find the right link. No, it, it's the right one. Oh. It's just like, you know how Facebook just auto-populates previews? Yeah, yeah. But then it takes up your whole page. <laughs> so I removed it so people didn't have to see the whole preview. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I can't see. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it disappeared on my side. That's funny. So... The premise is you go to Google, you type in your competitor's products names. Okay. This is by far the easiest way to find your competitor's affiliates. Now, if you want to narrow down the search result, because you'll find a lot of people that maybe aren't affiliates, you know, they're just like a friend, they're just promoting it. Maybe they, you know, they're just a random person. Add the word affiliate or commission because they usually will disclose, they should disclose that they get a commission for, uh, you know, for promoting this product. Uh, you could add other words like bonuses you know, or bonus, things like that. And you look that up. So if I'm looking up, you know, a competitor, uh, say I'm in the organic tomato farming industry and one of our competitors is like, you know, <laughs> or, organic tomato, you know, uh, plus, I don't know. I'm thinking of soccer plus, which is near here. You know, oh they, they sell soccer stuff. I would search organic, the organic tomato plus, and then I would add the word affiliate add the word commission, add the word bonus, and just try to see if I can find their affiliates. Now, this is one of only 15 ways to find affiliates. I actually share 
Uh, 14 more in my free report, your first 100 affiliates, which is 15 places to find top affiliates. You can Makes find sense. that on the how to find affiliates, the ultimate guide page at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find affiliates, as we mentioned before. But for today, my number one uh, recruiting email, this is what you want to do. Focus on people who've promoted similar products in the past. Focus on people who promoted similar products in the past. So go to Google, type the, their names in and look them up, which, you know, will take us to step two, which is to find their email address. We'll talk about that in a minute. So does this sound easy enough so far? We're going to go to Google. Let me know in the comments. We're going to go to Google. We're going to look, you know, our competitors up. We're going to add the word affiliate or commissions or bonus, something like that to kind of qualify it maybe. Uh, and then we're going to click on their websites, learn a little bit about them, see how they're promoting this product. And then ultimately we're going to reach out to them and use this recruiting email. So if do you, you want me, do you, do you want me to put the link to Google in the chat there? Or uh, I think people got you know, it. Honestly, I don't know that anybody actually goes to google.com anymore. We just go into the search bar. Yeah. And then you are able. Although if you're I, oh man, I hope my mom doesn't want to the me. Google. If, if you're like my mom, she'll go to Google and Google Yahoo to check her email. Yeah. Sorry, mom. Um, you're getting so much better. My mom can FaceTime now. It's, I'm so proud of her. Um, anyway, so if you're just joining us, we're talking about my number one affiliate second. recruiting email, come up how and why it works. And later I'm going to share with you how you can get a copy paste email template that is proven to work. Like you can just copy and paste it, fill in a couple blanks. Uh, so far we covered the first step, which is uh, to look up affiliates who promoted similar products. So to recap, you search for them and then you go to step two, which is to find their email address. Now we typically use three ways uh, to find somebody's email address. These account for 99.9% .9 of, you know, the email addresses we find. Number one is domain tools. You go to whois.domaintools.com. You search for their domain. And about 50% of the time you can find their email that way. Now it used to be 10 years ago, you could find about 90% this way. That has become less and less as, um, you know, more and more people have private domains, but you can find quite a bit of people using domain tools. This is uh, the point in the presentation, Matt. LinkedIn sales navigator. Uh, you simply install the, it used to be called reportive. You install the LinkedIn sales navigator plugin for Gmail and just start typing in emails into the to field. So you type in, you know, Matt at mattmcwilliams.com. If nothing pulls up, it's not a real email. If you type in, you know, something else and it pulls up and it shows my face, it wouldn't show my face for other people, of course, but for me, it would. <laughs> my face has a, uh, a link to my LinkedIn profile, has a, I've, I've got fluffies flying in my face here, uh, shows Twitter and other stuff. That's their email address. You can literally just guess and find email addresses. Again, on Friday of last week, I shared kind of all the variables in that. And there's tons of other resources and all the, the resources we recommend. Again, we shared those on the Facebook Live last week. Uh, you can check those out. Um, they're free to use. At least we use the free version. I think a few of them have a paid version. We've never needed it. And you can find those tools on my toolbox page at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash toolbox. So I also shared some additional um, tools and how to use those tools in last week's live lesson. So Mark can drop that link again. Hopefully it won't do like the preview thing. Uh, but if you missed it, you know, I go in depth on how to find email addresses of literally anyone. To be clear, just to be clear, finding the email address is not something that should hold you back. You should be able to find 99.99 nine, nine, another nine percent of anyone's email address that you would want to find. Now, I mean, it's, it's, I, I can't remember the last time we couldn't find a valid email address. Now it's happened, but I would say out of the, I mean, literally when I say I've recruited hundreds of thousands of affiliates, it is definitely over a hundred thousand. It's probably like five, 10, 20 people ever that I have not been able to find their email address for. Uh, it's just, I usually can find them. It's that simple. So if you're just joining us, yeah, we're talking about my number one affiliate recruiting email. And right now I'm talking about what to do before you send this email. And in just a little bit, I'm going to share with you how you can get a copy paste 
email template you can use to find top affiliates. So far, we covered the first and second steps, which are to look up the affiliates who promoted similar products, that's key, and then find their email address. Also, one quick reminder, make sure you check out our How to Find Affiliates, the Ultimate Guide series at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find affiliates. Uh, we're talking about emailing them today to get them to say, yes, we got to find them first. And everything you could possibly want to know about finding the right affiliates is on that ultimate guide. So step number three is to create a spreadsheet of affiliates. Create a spreadsheet of affiliates. So we keep our uh, prospective affiliates, the ones we're reaching out to, very simple spreadsheet. It's got like first name, last name. I think we put um, first name and last name combined. So it's easy to search to make sure we have like the odds of two people, two prospective affiliates having the same first and last name. There are a couple. Jeff Brown. We had yep. this happen once. Mark, I don't know if you remember this. I do. I do remember Jeff Brown. Jeff, Jeff Brown. Brown. Jeff Brown from the, I think it's the Read to Lead. I listened to his podcast. Yeah. All the time. Read to Lead. Read to Lead yeah. podcast. And then uh, the other I Jeff. I remember the other one. Yeah. I'm friends with the Read the Lead one, but I'm trying to remember the yeah. other one. I can Read see his face. Texting, like two weeks ago, actually. Oh, really? That's funny. Yeah. And uh, so we had two Jeff Browns. Those are the only, I think it's the only time we've ever yeah, had no, that happen. No, we've had another one. I'm trying to think who it was. Really? We had wow. one other one, I think, too. Well, either it way. It was a lady. It was a lady twice. But, yeah. Not very often. Twice in 100,000 plus, roughly, that I've ever had that happen. You know, you know, if you get like a Tim Smith or somebody like that, it could happen. Jeff Brown, I mean, seriously, you know, it's it, it can happen. But the point is, we usually have a field where we can easily like command F and look up the, the name and just make sure it's not already on our list. You know, yeah. usually um, we do combined and then we do separate as well. Yeah. So first and last name, combined name, email address, the product that they promoted and the name of the product owner. And I'll explain why in this email, see why I have that. So it would say something like um, Mark and then Sievercrop and then Mark Sievercrop combined, which definitely there's no other Mark Sievercrop we're ever gonna recruit. Then it would say Mark Mark promoted, uh, uh, we'll just say um, self-publishing school and then the product owner Chandler Bolt. And you'll see why we, and when I share step number four, you'll see why we have both of those fields in there. Now, eventually we move them to a, a CRM. Like once they engage with us, they move to that from that spreadsheet to a CRM where we have info, uh, we use contactually. You know, you can get that at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash contactually. But early on, we just keep them in a spreadsheet and we track it all from there. It's really easy uh, to keep track of. Or you can use, a, you know, you can even use a task management system like Asana, whatever you want to, to really the key is to, you want to track the initial contact and the follow-up. You know, the key is to have some system. I don't care if you use a spreadsheet, a CRM, uh, a, a, a task management system. You want to have some system for following up, removing people who say no, and taking care of those people who, who want more information or they say yes. I don't have a, we have a preference for what we do, but you know, you could do something completely different. You just want to have a system and you're, you'll see as we go along, follow up is everything. Only, you know, five to 10% of people are even going to see that first email, let alone respond to it. The key is to follow up and follow up and follow up. And you're like, well, that takes a lot of work. I said finding email, like finding the right affiliates and finding their email address and reaching out to them first time. It's not hard, but it can take 10 to 15 minutes to yeah. do that process and then reach out to the person. Following up takes 30 seconds if you're slow. Like if you really go slow and you're meticulous, 30 seconds. So 15 minutes and then you could follow up 30 times to equal that 15 minutes. My point is, uh, yeah, following up takes time, but you invested so much on the front end, you might as well follow up eight to 10 times over mm -hmm. the course of a few months, right? That is key. You've got to follow up. I don't care how you track that. You've got to follow up. So again, before you send this email, you know, we covered the first three steps here, which are to look up the affiliates. They promoted similar products, all right? Then find their email address, we shared how to do that, and then create a spreadsheet to track them all. Right? That is 
key. We go through how, kind of all of that in that ultimate guide that I mentioned, you know, how to find affiliates. So um, go check that out. We mentioned the URL a few times. It's mattmcwilliams.com forward slash find affiliates. So that's everything you do before you send this email. My number one aff affiliate recruiting email that I'm about to share with you. So hopefully this makes sense so far. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat, in the comments, and I'll take a look over there. Mark will ask me as well. So, all right. Step number four is to send this email. All right. So this is the one, this is what you came for, right? This is our it. secret sauce. What'd you say? I said, we made it. This, but all the stuff that I talked about before, this is important because if you don't yeah, have the right critical. people, you'll see no. why. You don't have the right people or you have the wrong email address <laughs> and you don't have any way to track follow-up. Eh, it's not really that relevant. So again, we've tested about 20 different emails over the years. I mean, I've been doing this for almost 16 years now. Um, this is the one that works best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the email to you. I'm going to share with you why it works and how to use it best and also how not to use it. I'm going to share these biggest mistakes that people make in recruiting and everyone makes them. I made them for years. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to share a URL where you can download the template for free. Pretty cool, right? So don't worry about writing everything down. Like I'm, I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to kind of share with you how it works as it goes. Hey, Tanya, don't worry about writing it down. Just listen to the why and the how and get the gist of it. Then I'll share the URL to download the actual email. So here is the email. All right. Subject line. There's two different subject lines. The first subject line is just the other product's name. So whatever the other product is, you know, if, if we're targeting, let's say we're targeting accountants. No, that's kind of boring. Like literally that's boring. Um, Eric would say otherwise though. I don't I was say, I don't yeah, know his last name. Uh, Eric that's from Launch Club. Well, let's say we're going to target attorneys. Wow, that's even worse now. So we're targeting attorneys and we're going to teach them how to use LinkedIn to generate leads. All right. So they're business attorneys and they're, the course is called uh, LinkedIn for lawyers. It's actually a really good title. That's, that's good not name. taking, can you look up that domain name? I actually have something in mind for that. Um, <laughs> I'm dead serious, Mark. Look, or Robbie, look that. up that domain. Share with they Ernie the attorney. What's that? We could share it with Ernie the attorney. Yeah. LinkedIn. So LinkedIn for lawyers, right? That's the name of the court. That's the name of your competitor. Um, and if that's the name of your competitor, that would be the subject line. Now, if the name of that product is really, really, really long, I don't know of an example right now, but it's like, you know, um, LinkedIn for lawyer, you know, um, how to run LinkedIn ads if you're an attorney in 2019. That's a terrible name for a product, but if it's really, really long, like it's not going to fit. Think about your phone. I wish I had mine handy. And it's kind of how long of a subject line will show up on your phone. If it's really, really long, then your subject line should be the personality behind its name or the company behind its name. So if it's a real, let's say it's LinkedIn for LinkedIn for lawyers is the name of the product that your competitor and it's uh, Ernie Svensson. Let's just say Ernie, the attorney did uh, our friend, Ernie, the attorney, let's say he is the one who created that product. Then if it was really long product name, then you would just put Ernie Svensson. All right. So if it's bestseller blueprint, that fits. That's a great subject line. If, you know, but if it's really long, then you might just put, you know, Jim Smith, if that's the person who wrote it. So with that in mind, the email is very succinct. You say, Hey, F name. So, Hey, first name. So, Hey, Jim, Hey, Ernie. I saw that you were promoting LinkedIn for lawyers recently and thought of you for something we have coming up. This, so by the way, that was, I saw you were promoting other product name. So you're acknowledging that you're watching them. And then you say, Hey, I, I thought of you. I thought of you. Ooh, that's really, you thought of me. Like that's very key. And like, we used to say something like, I saw that you were promoting, you know, um, other product name recently. And I thought you might be interested. No. Why would you think that? Why would you think that I'd be interested in your stuff? No, I thought of you. Very key phrase there, all right? So then you say this, and then the month of your launch. Don't don't worry about, don't put specific dates. Just put generic, 
you know, you could even say early next year. All right. But this September, whatever we are launching. And now you say your product name. Okay. So I don't know what that would be because LinkedIn for lawyers is about the best name I've come up with all day. And I'm not going to come up with anything better. LinkedIn yeah. for attorneys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't know, but like we're launching your product name. It's similar to the first name of the other products. So I said, in this case, it was Ernie. So it's similar to Ernie's course or product or whatever. I'm sorry, I'm looking at Gwen's comment now. That's funny. Uh, it's similar to, you know, so-and-so's product, but, and then you share a real quick difference. If you're interested, let me know. Love to share more info with you. And then you sign off. Now, if I, I explained a lot there, of course. So it kind of took a while to go through that. It's a three sentence, no, four sentence email. One sentence, first paragraph, two sentence, second paragraph, one sentence. So let me share an example with you. Um, this, the example I wrote here, uh, so for a fictional course called Kill It With Keto, invented by, we'll say, a guy named Brian Johnson. You know, that is not a real name. I'm on an alliteration kick today. With it is a real name. I, I, don't, I have a friend named Brian Johnson. Um, and uh, so here's a real quick version. Hey, Brian, I saw you were promoting Kill It With Keto recently and thought of you for something we have coming up. Next January, we're launching our Brain Booster Plus system. It's similar to, um, no, that we were reaching out to Brian, sorry. The creator is Tom Smith in this example. So it's similar to Tom Smith's system, but it really focuses on how the keto diet can boost your brain functioning and includes specific meditations and brain exercises in addition to just the diet aspect. If you're interested, let me know. Love to share more info with you, Matt. That's the email. That's it. So, so why, you know, share a little bit, but why and how does this work? Now, before I explain that, let me share how to screw up an affiliate recruiting email. All right. Because this will actually help me explain why this simple email works. So what, again, we tested this against um, probably at least 20, 30 different iterations. And this is yeah. what we came up with. And again, there are very specific phrases in there that perform 10, 20, 30, 50 times, not times percent better than other phrases that effectively say the same thing. But I think you guys have learned by now, language and specific language is very important. So let me share the, how to screw up an affiliate recruiting email. The easiest way to screw up an affiliate recruiting email is to make it too long. Do not try to fit everything in one email. Oh, I know you want to tell them all about how much time you spent developing it, share six testimonials, tell them how awesome the sales funnel is, how you, you want to brag on your commissions and the prizes and who else is promoting it and how well it converts and that, you know, Oprah endorsed it. Actually, if Oprah endorsed it, you might include that. If some like <laughs> ridiculously high level, you know, that's a whole different thing. And uh, let's be honest, probably you, did, Oprah didn't endorse your product. You know, you want to talk about all this stuff. Don't. Don't keep it short. Your only objective with this email. What do you think the objective is in this email? Is it to get them to agree to promote? Yes, long term. But this email, notice if, if we go back to it, I said, you know, love to share more info, info with you. Let me know. Your only objective with this email is to get a reply. To get a reply. That's it. You send a hundred emails, you'll get a few yes replies. You get a lot of no's. But your most common reply to this email, I have tested it and tested it and tested it. Your most common reply will basically be some variation of tell me more. Tell me more. Now they said tell me more. You have started a conversation. Yep. Now you can write them a novel because they asked for it. That's why this email works so well. I've tried long emails, don't work. I've tried short emails that got tried to get to the point, which is, hey, I want to, they don't work. It, it, this email doesn't attempt to sell them on the entire concept. It doesn't ask them to commit. It doesn't even ask them to even think about committing. It just offers to share some more info. It starts 
a conversation. And I want you to focus on starting a conversation. That is the key with this email. Just get them talking to you. Like Robbie says, get them to talk to you. Tanya says, uh, that's what you're trying to do. You're starting a dialogue, an email dialogue, whereby they have now given you permission. You asked for permission and they gave you permission to now write them details like what, how your conversion rates are, what the product is in detail, who else is promoting it, who's endorsed it, what kind of results it's getting, what your favorite color is, your blood type and your favorite food. I mean, you can tell them like all kinds of stuff in this email, relevant and organized, of course. And we, we have templates for that follow-up I'll, I'll share in a second. So you can get this template, the email that I just read to you, and I told you not to take notes <laughs> because I don't want you to try to take notes. I want you to get the why and those specific phrases. And you can tweak it a little bit to fit your voice, but those specific phrases that I highlighted, don't change them. They are proven to work. I have tried other phrases, dozens of other phrases in place of those specific phrases. And these are the ones that get the most replies and ultimately the most affiliates. So you can get this in this template entirely free. You can copy paste it, edit it as you want to. Just go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash best email. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash best email. And there you'll be able to get my number one affiliate recruiting email template. And you can also learn how to get all of my top affiliate recruiting emails for literally every situation. So how to get your friends to promote you. That's a whole different beast. How to reach out to people that you see on leaderboards, you know, on affiliate leaderboards. Uh, mentioned how to turn competitors into partners. That's a good one. How to reach out to members of like if you're in a group or a mastermind, uh, or if you're one of our start mastermind members, or you're one of our MPMP students, and you want to reach out to them about being an affiliate. There's a specific way to do that. Uh, how to get your current affiliates to recruit other affiliates for you if you have current affiliates, plus how to follow up with them. And as I said before, 90%, probably more Probably 95% of this is in the follow-up. So there's following up to the initial email, but there's also following up. Once they say, tell me more, what do you send to them? What do you actually send to them? So we've got that. So go check it out at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash best email. And let me show you how to recruit your best affiliates. So real quick, we love doing these lives. Uh, these are just like fun. These are fun for us. <laughs> yes, they so are. Our next one, though, normally I'll tell you when our next one is, but we don't know. I've got something coming next week that I'm pumped about. I've been working on it for months now. Uh, the team and I have been working on it for, you know, a, a while. We, It's like I'm psyched out of my mind about it. Uh, so that's going to keep us busy next week. So I don't know if we're going live next week or maybe the week after. We'll see. We're going live again soon, but it's – to be determined. We don't know the day and the time yet. So go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash FB chat. You should just go to that no matter what. So you can get a reminder of when we go live. Unless you already get them. Yeah. If you already get In which them. Case, you're good to go. Like if you got a, if you got a message right before this started that we were going live, you're good to go. <laughs> so I'm telling you, um, all of our content is great, I think, but our lives is where we get a chance to really dive in. We also get a chance to react to you and you get to ask questions like, you know, it's real time. You mm -hmm. know, that's the, the beauty of it is like, I'm explaining something. You don't understand it in, in, you know, static video world and YouTube world. That means you have to press pause. Wait, I don't understand that. Or I got to shoot an email to Matt. You know, we have a business to run. Sometimes it takes us 48 hours to reply. And I, you know, like you miss out. Instead, you get to ask right here in the comments. I answer and we go on. And that's the beauty of the lives. So go to mattmcclinics.com forward slash FB chat. Get a reminder of when we go live. Um, there are plenty of times where we don't email out when we're doing stuff on Facebook. But you will get all the updates in Messenger. And I usually tell you beforehand so you can schedule your your week. Like yeah. I you when I schedule those, Matt, I usually schedule them for at least four to six hours before an email goes out. Oh yeah. Often yeah. a day before. So if you want to plan your day, this is the way to do it. And you know, yep. cause you'll I know. Before notifications. So, um, 
One last reminder to go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash best email. You're going you're gonna to get my number one best, the highest performing, most amazing, best converting $100 million plus. Seriously, uh, it's brought in easily over $100 million for our clients and us over the years uh, for recruiting affiliates. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash best email. Go check it out and we will see you soon. We're going to see you soon. I promise we'll be back very soon. We just don't know when yet. And uh, Mark, any last words, bud? No, I mean, I think, you know, just everything you said, Matt. I mean, I remember when I first started working with you, we were still tweaking this email a little bit. Oh and God. we had we had like five or 10 different ones we tried and they all worked okay. But this one, I mean, I remember having conversations early on after we sent this email and we're like, uh, that works. <laughs> like, yeah. Let's do that again. <laughs> yeah, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. I mean, it took, like Mark said, it took us, and that was, I mean, dude, you, you started with me Five years four ago. or five. It's five. either four or five. I can't remember. I think it's five. I think it's four. Was it five? Mm, I think it was five. I think it was 2014. Man. Holy I crap. think so. I got, we got to look that up. It was, it, it was, it was. Yeah. I'm pretty sure because I worked at my last job two, two years and cash was born right when I started my job before that. Oh my when gosh, dude. And you, yeah, I mean, like five years. <laughs> that was like, five remember years. I told you we need to start re re rediscussing things because you said, if I'm still working with you, we did something wrong. Yeah. Five years, almost to the day. Yeah. So, uh, March yeah. was for five, five years. I'd wow. been working on it for, you know, almost well, yeah, more than 10 years before that. So yeah. when Mark came on board, we had a decent email, you know, it was okay. And then it just got better and then it got better and got better and got better and got better. And like every, every week it just like, we were, Oh wow, that's working. Oh, that worked better. And you know, we sent out a hundred emails and it, you know, yes, revenue is the ultimate metric, mm -hmm. but I will tell you that when you send out an email and you send it to hundred people and 12 reply and the next week you send it to hundred random people and 32 reply, you know, you're on to something, you know, you can tell pretty quickly that you're on to something and that's what was happening with this email it it absolutely worked and uh, so i see the comments guys those are those are fun um <laughs> thank you tanya thank you um oh hey ruby thank you tanya thank you um jill you guys are awesome gwen you're awesome ruby you're awesome all of you are awesome so again go check it out mattmcwilliams.com forward slash best email to get that template for my highest performing amazing awesome, super duper uh, email. Seriously, like you can copy paste it, tweak it just a little bit and uh, and use it to go find awesome affiliates. And uh, with that, we'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. Thanks.